We're here today with uh, Mr. Andrew Rujeje, who is the ITU Regional Director for Africa. Mr. Rujeje, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Mr. Rujeje, we gathered here in Kigali for two important ITU meetings. The first one is a Regional Development Forum that mm -hmm. took place on Monday the 5th of December. Can you tell us about this meeting? What was the outcome? Thank you, Monica. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I hope you enjoyed being in Kigali and our meetings. The Regional Development Forum uh, has two, for me it has two uh, objectives. One, uh, it is my platform as Regional Director to report back to the, to the membership and I do that every year uh, on the activities of the ITU. But secondly, it's a platform, uh, it's a multi-stakeholder platform that uh, on, at which ITU and other stakeholders meet to discuss issues that are uh, important to Africa. Uh, that means that it is ITU membership uh, and those that are not members, they can come and give ideas and this is exactly what happened. So. Um, the way it was organized, the, the reporting was done, they appreciated my report, which I'm grateful for. But also we had uh, three other very important sessions. We had a, a session that discussed the uh, role of ICTs in achieving the um, Sustainable Development Goals. Most uh, importantly, this session included uh, sister organizations to the ITU, the UN organizations. Uh, it included private sector, it included, uh, <coughs> it included um, um, other organizations like the uh, banking sector because we wanted to talk about uh, the role of the, of the ICT in uh, sustainable development but we also wanted to say how do we actually achieve this, how do we fund this, how do we uh, operationalize it. So that was the discussion and the outcome was very good. Uh, the third, uh, the, the third uh, session talked about uh, emerging technologies and the opportunities and, uh, and uh, challenges of it and they, they turned out to be many but I think we had more opportunities than challenges. Uh, but um, this addressed, uh, for example, uh, the trending issues of OTTs and uh, telecom economics, uh, which is a trending issue in Africa right now. And it also included issues of uh, um, IOTs and, uh, uh, and big data, for example. It included um, connectivity and smart cities. So for Africa, these are very important issues. There are, there are uh, things like big data, there's a lack of understanding of what it is, there's, there's the scare of it. So we were able to uh, clarify it. Uh, players were able to talk about it and to appreciate it and also to say, you know what, this is where we want to go. The most exciting session was the last session, the fourth session, which was on young entrepreneurs. Uh, it was most exciting because whenever you have young people in the room, and uh, not only young people, it is young, innovative people. Uh, it, is, it is most exciting. You could see the attention was undivided. This session was meant to, uh, to give a platform to, the, to these young entrepreneurs uh, to, tell, to tell us uh, uh, what their projects are, what their uh, success stories are, what their challenges are, but I also wanted us to learn what challenges uh, they have and what we can do about it, both as ITU but also as member states who are, who are in the room. Because often not, not all of us appreciate uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, and especially when you have young people, when you have young women, uh, we still have a stigma, as, as one of the uh, young ladies was saying. So this session, um, it was very carefully selected. The adults that were on it, 
the, the moderator is, is a young person, but who is seasoned as a mentor for young people. He's also a member of the Young President's Club. That's why he was selected. He's called Sunil Chandaria. We had a keynote speaker who was the regional director of, uh, of UNIDO. And UNIDO has in its mandate uh, the development of uh, industrialization, but also innovation and encouraging young people. So I wanted them to hear from these two people, but also, <coughs> also them to share their experiences. Uh, it was amazing because we had three young ladies, three young entrepreneurs, and two young men. Uh, and uh, they all seem to share one thing, passion for innovation. And this is what really uh, resonates with me because I do want other young people to know you can be young, you can be an entrepreneur, whether you are a young man or whether you are a young woman, you can still be an entrepreneur. And this also was meant to uh, to encourage those that will be uh, determining the priority areas for Africa where ITU should focus. So when they see this, when they see the, uh, the success of these few young people with the little they had, what would happen if as countries we really supported these young people, we supported young women, we encouraged everybody to know that they can succeed and then put our weight behind them. I think that's going to be um, the trick to Africa's taking off like that. That's great, thank you. And you spoke about uh, innovation, but you spoke about the Sustainable Development Goals, mm -hmm. uh, which were adopted by the international community in 2015. Mm -hmm. How can the work of ITU uh, contribute to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals known as SDGs? Okay, um, I, I should have mentioned that the theme for the Regional Development Forum was ICTs for SDGs. And the theme for the uh, RPM, which I'll talk about in a minute, is the same as it is the same for the World Telecommunication Development Conference that is going to happen next year and for which we are preparing. Uh, how does the work of the ITU, uh, particularly BDT, contribute to sustainable development goals? I think the ultimate goal of the sustainable development goals is to uh, better or improve the quality of life of everybody. And BDT, the work of the BDT really, the bottom line is the same. It is not about technology, it is not about building networks, it is about doing something that will improve the quality of life of people and people wherever they are. Not you and me with multiple degrees, not so and so with millions in, in their account. We want everybody from the bottom of the pyramid to, to feel that they are included and to see the difference that ICT can make in their lives. And there are many, many things. The young people talked about them, we talk about them, but when you start using uh, ICTs uh, to, for productivity in agriculture, when you start using ICTs to reach those that are not able to reach a hospital immediately, you remember the minister of, of ICT in his opening remarks, he talked about the first uh, online hospital um, that uses ICTs to, uh, you can even get a prescription. So using ICTs to, um, in services uh, that uh, improve or save the lives of the people. That's what we are about. That's what SDGs are about. That is what BDT is doing, and that is how um, <clears throat> that is how BDT will use ICTs in accelerating the attainment of, uh, of the uh, sustainable development goals. And as you said, this is the theme or the major 
ITU conference taking place next year in 2017 in Buenos Aires, yes. Argentina from the 9th to the 20th of October, mm -hmm. and that's the World Telecommunication Development Conference. Perfect. And the RPM, the Regional Preparatory Meeting, is in fact a meeting organized to prepare for that conference. Can mm -hmm. you tell us about this meeting which is taking place right now as we speak? Indeed, uh, we, we started on, on yesterday, Tuesday, uh, and the purpose of uh, getting uh, Africans together and, and some other stakeholders is to prepare themselves for the World Conference. It is to uh, identify their priorities. It is to, uh, in this case, to uh, gauge uh, their progress, uh, the progress of, of uh, ICT telecommunications and what it is achieving for them. And therefore, prepare, go uh, with uh, an African common proposal to the World Conference in order to be able to have a, a higher voice among all the other voices that are there. All the regions will be there or the regions have different priorities. So if you go with a common voice, you are more likely to be heard than if you go with uh, 100 voices. Um, during this RPM, the way it was, uh, it was organized, uh, that we had certain significant documents uh, like, uh, like the uh, BDT uh, draft Contribution, uh, contribution to the draft strategic plan of the Union, uh, the BDT contribution to the operational plan, the BDT contribution to the declaration. Uh, there are other documents like uh, uh, rules of procedure and, and, and many others. But also importantly, um, you, we, we solicited from the members contributions, uh, not only to those uh, documents, but also to uh, what resolutions would they like to be taken in the interest of, of Africa? And so the, the two days that we have spent have looked at uh, those, uh, those contributions, have discussed them, digested them, and come up with uh, common positions. We had uh, the regional organization, uh, the, the Telecommunications Regional Organization, ATU, uh, here in the room, and uh, it is the one that uh, eventually will take all these proposals and make them into a common proposal and bring it to WTDC. And many things uh, have come out, uh, uh, many things have been uh, appreciated, uh, but I think it's going to be a very, very interesting WTDC as far as Africa is concerned, because Africa this time, they have they have their act together. They have it right. So we look forward to it. So we look forward Absolutely. to the next WTC. <laughs> and I want to thank you, Mr. Rujeje, for your time. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm very excited. I look forward to this conference because we are prepared for it.